It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Tooth and Claw. It's called One Eye IPA. It's a 7% ABV IPA. I picked it up in Asda. It's 7% ABV. 440 milliliter can. I like the name of this. I like the way that the, the regional brewery here have approached things. So Cameron's Brewery have always had this symbol of a lion and they chose that lion or they chose to open up a craft brand as part of Cameron's and they call it Tooth and Claw. You know, lions, big teeth, big claws. I think it's a really, really good way of, you know, there's the Cameron's brand, there's the Cameron's lion. Most people will know it's Cameron's but then most people will know it's their side am. It's their craft brewery side am. Uh, this has been put into Asda. It cost me three pound for the can, maybe three pound fifty at a push. Um, there was no sticker on the on the shelf, but I, I'm, every other beer was three pounds. So I'm going to say seven percent. It might have been three pound fifty. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Looks good. It does. It looks really good. That last, I was just, I wouldn't normally speak through the, or I commentate on the pour, but I just stayed silent there because. As I was getting that last little bit of beer into the glass, it was just it just gave off like um it looked really lovely and dare I say it rich, good full bodied. Yeah, but it just looks really good. It looked really good as on the pull. We got a one finger white head, nice levels of kind of slow moving carbonation. It's a hazy amber colour. Let's get the aroma. <clears throat> Slightly dank, dank aromas. And uh, this could be said for some of the early American double IPAs. You'd really have to, it was almost like you'd, you'd have to put your hand over it and really kind of try and get the aroma that way. But then, I don't do that because all you're really doing is smelling the palm of your hand. So I don't really do that. Um, but the, the temptation is there. It's almost like you want to get a, a, a beer mat, but then all you're doing is smelling paper. So what I mean by dank is that maybe a lot of the flavours are locked into the beer. These American double IPAs used to surprise you because you would think, ah, the aroma's kind of not that great. And you'd be thinking, ah. But then you would taste it and it would be a completely different ball game. It would be a completely different animal. And I'm kind of hoping we're going to get the same kind of similar situation here with, with, with this one eye from Cameron's. It's a little lemony, it's a little kind of orange peely and a little kind of grapefruity. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's really fresh. It's super fresh. It's almost hot. It's almost that hot. It's almost kind of that fresh that it's hot. It's almost like you want to leave, possibly, 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 leave this in your cupboard for a week or two or your fridge for a week or two just to let that slight kind of heat of the hops, just to let the hops settle down a little bit.
It's got a creamy, rich mouthfeel. Thankfully, from the malt, it's definitely a malty, creamy mouthfeel over lactose, which I would take that all day long. Um, I don't like lactose in pale ales or IPAs. Thankfully, this has no lactose in it. I can tell straight away. It's got a little hiss and fizz of carbonation that pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. The more I'm sipping it, the more I'm drinking it, the more I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> you get the heat of the hops. The hops are a little hot. What I mean by that is the hops are so fresh in the beer that there's a slight burn on the back of the throat. You might be drinking this, you might be drinking this in a week or two's time, because it generally takes me a week or two to, for me to be able to post these beer reviews. So you might be drinking your can at the perfect time. You might be thinking to yourself, no, this is not hot. But I have a little backlog of beer reviews. Um, I always think, you know, um, I, I caught myself out once when I first started the channel. Um, I got ill, I had a sore throat and I couldn't do any beer reviews and the channel was like, nothing happened for a week. So I always make sure since then, of course you, you have experiences in life and you learn in life, don't you? I always leave myself a week or two of a backlog just in case something happens, you know? Surprise trip to a weekend away or, you know, um, you're not very well. <clears throat> so yeah, basically what I'm saying is, you you might be drinking this at the perfect time, the perfect opportunity. That hop, the hops have settled down a little bit. The hops are coming through as grapefruit, orange peel, a little bit of fleshy blood orange. It's got a nice level of bitterness on the back end. It's quite a nice beer, actually. It's quite an enjoyable beer. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. A little bit of bitterness on the back end. Nicely balanced beer. It, it, it's kind of a little bit spicy and peppery. And... It's funny because I don't think I've ever had a packaged can or bottle of Cameron's beer. I've heard of them. If you go to sort of kind of pubs around the country, you'll see Cameron signs, the old signs. Like I go down to West Wales, down to Tenby, and there's a pub there that's got loads of old, old sop signs and, you know, Possibly a Cameron's one. Pardon me. I think they've got a Cameron's one down there. And, and of course, being somebody who likes to drink different beer from different breweries, I always look at the plaques, these old tin plaques, maybe from the 1950s, and you think, oh, I wonder what their beer's like. So I've always wanted to try maybe a traditional, more of a traditional Cameron's beer. I'd, I'd like to try their bitter or their... ESB if they do one, or their stout, or their porter, or kind of something like that. Perhaps I need to travel into Cameron's country, visit one of their pubs, and just sample some of their beers. Some of you might be saying at this point in time, ah, but they have a pub chain all the way over the UK. A rather really kind of nice pub chain. Um, they got a pub in Cardiff in South Wales. I believe it's Cameron's that own it. Um, oh, what are they called? Can't think of the name of this pub chain now, but they, they sell Delirium Tremens on keg. And they sell pizza and they sell like like about 50 different craft beers in these bars. What are these bars called? I wanted the Head of Steam. Just come to me. So I first went into a Head of Steam in Liverpool only three months ago. Loved it. Come back, realised there was one in Cardiff. Went to the one in Cardiff, had a couple of beers, had a vice beer, ABK vice beer from Head of Steam and loved it. And it was all these people enjoying pizza and burgers and dirty fries. And I was thinking, this is my type of pub. It was my birthday, so we went into Miller and Carter's. We had a steak in Miller and Carter's. But part of me wanted to stay in this Head of Steam and just get steaming. <laughs> um, right. 
Brewed using a combination of Nelson Sauvignon and Vicks Seed Hops, this juicy IPA is loaded with aromas and flavours of gooseberry, pineapple and passion fruit. I do like it. I do. I, I think I would love this beer in a week's time. Just when it's settled down a little bit. I get the gooseberry now. Reading from the back of the can, I definitely get that little gooseberry taste that's coming through. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate it. They've also put the malts down. Parallel malt, flaked oats, Nelson Sovin, Vic Secret hops, unfiltered and fine, vegan friendly. You know, they've really made an effort here, Camerons. They've really made an effort. I like that enough to give it, I reckon if I drunk that in a week's time, I'd be giving that a nine out of 10. At the moment, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Real Love Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.